what up, those Ignitex here, coming at you at extreme speed with episode number eight of our Pokemon Obsidian Nuzlocke. Now, last time we caught our newest team member, Tiffany the Slack Off, and I did a bit of off screen grinding. Uh, everyone's at least level 16, in fact, all of my team is except for Stanley, who's just sitting there at the back like the over level powerhouse he is. And this time we'll be going into Oregon Cave, or Oregon Cave, however you pronounce it. We're going there. What is up, Dad? What is what is happening in your world? Phil went up ahead, and he said it just leads to Victory Road. So we're going to go down below and see if there's anything of interest. There's plenty of Pokemon you can fight in here, so take your time and train while we see what we can find. Come when you're ready. Oh, if you want, you can try and go to Victory Road, but you can't get by right now, I guess. All right. So, the obviously, what we want here is an encounter game. Then give us an encounter. Give it to us quickly. Okay. okay. Not really a bad Pokemon. Bad I don't know, I'm not too excited to get a Cubone. Gonna be... Mate, you could, you could get your chance. You have a chance, every Pokemon has a chance. Yeah. Oh, that's scary. Don't just stand me. You can... Those attacks don't phase in. What to do? I feel like a Pokeball can catch a Pokeball. Maybe not. Come on, you want to get in there, Kibo. I want you! Come on, you want to get in there, Kibo. I want you! Darn it! Get in there, please, Kibo. Come on! I won't... I will not put up with this all day! Finally! I got your Cubone! There's no escape now! Give <laughs> me a nickname, I believe that was a male Cubone. I hope it was. But anyway, what's a good name for Cubone? What does Cubone look like? I think Cubone, um... He probably looks like a robot. So yeah, <laughs> Wilbur the Keybone. Welcome to the team. Alright, so Wilbur is lax. Um, Bone Club though, that's a great move. I want a thing that has 65 power. That is great. That is awesome. That is an awesome move! Man, if I get Wilbur to become a Marowak and keep Bone Club on him, a stab Bone Club from a Marowak is going to be powerful! That would just be pure power right there! And Geodude is a great Pokemon to use to destroy for experience! And yeah, uh, grinding will take place, see when Wilbur's on par with everyone else! So yeah, Wilbur's got up to level 16 on par with everybody else pretty much. Grinding with grinding Wilbur was absolutely no trouble whatsoever. He gave experience like a speed demon. And hey, what's up Phil? Found a cubo nest. <laughs> Foreshadowing for some uh, tough Pokemon battle upcoming. Um, I don't want to spoil it until it happens, but it's something that I feel like Jade will do well in. Oh good, you found us! <laughs> I seem to have stumbled upon a Cubone nest. Here, let me show you. See, just some bones that the Cubone usually collect, and a random skull. This is probably worn by a Marowak or something. There's nothing too groundbreaking here. Groundbreaking? Boops. Oh, holy mill tank! Oh, well, Marowak, just stay calm. Marowak is very territorial. He's just trying to be carefully. So here we are, a level 18 Marowak. Yeah, that's the level that this thing is at. And yet it's still got tail whip all this time. And it's been dumb and you can tell with a billion times. Get wrecked, Marowak, just get wrecked. Wow, that was so easy. The strange thing is, 
Pokemon Obsidian Nuzlocke, the first time I did it, which was like ages ago, and the video was absolutely awful. It was like the worst you can get, pretty much. It wiped out all my team, except for one team member. But now I just destroyed it with Jade. Oh, phew, you sure handled that well. What an interesting battle. What was that? Oh, good, you're okay. It seems like the battle with that Marowak revealed a buried route to a lower level. Let's take a look around. Okay, Dan. Okay, pal. And, yeah, Jade's climbing in the levels, and I don't know what to do right now. Because, uh, this is not a long episode by any means, and... I guess we should just go talk to Dan and see what he has to say again. I don't know. It looks like some man-made wall with carvings of some symbol on it. I'll have to call up Tamarack and let him know what we found. I'm going to head to Pirate City so I can call him. Come find us when you're done here. Alright, but first I might... I just did some grinding. I'm not doing any more. I guess you might want to see how quickly Wilbur gets experience. Just, just look at... I didn't... I chose the wrong move. Done. Well then, whatever move it does is going to do absolutely no damage because Wilbur is surprisingly good at taking it. It throws blocks in- Wow! That was no damage. And it's missing- Wilbur is missing his bone clubs. Please land them, Wilbur. Speed with extreme levels. And... See, I go- I like- I'm like rolling around at the speed of sound. I gotta go fast. This is like the episode of speed. This is just been pure speed, we've been doing everything in the last room, we've been destroying stuff in the blink of an eye and getting that experience, like, fast as lightning, and we're going so fast with the super speed, this is the episode of, um, the episode of extreme speed, very fitting for our channel, I know who's been here. But anyway, yeah. I was just wrecking these Geodudes. I don't even know if I should have done the grinding off screen because it was like, and also Wilbur was level 12 when we got him. And I see, I'm seeing a lot of level 9. Also, there were Drillbers in here. Drillbo Wilbur. It would be funny to have Drillbo the Wilbur. Wilbur the Drillbo. All the way around. So, anyway, yeah, another level on. Uh, Leah, that's a terrible move. Why would I want Leah when I have the moves that I already have? I mean, it only has one good move on it, really, which is Bone Club, and Headbutt's pretty good. I mean, Headbutt's okay. It's actually pretty good. I'm not... I was like when I said it was okay. It is better than okay. It is just pretty good. And look at that experience! Anyway, here we are, Route 4C, and this is, uh, Victory Road, uh, and we can't go here, and I have no idea where Pirate City actually is, so, I have a memory that it's actually down here, and oh yeah, I didn't fight this guy, experience, I guess, I don't know, and I love how it says Pokemon instead of Pokemon, this isn't Pokemon Obsidian, this is Pokemon Obsidian! And it's really cool actually that this uh, game includes trainers, like nobody trainers using potions. Like it makes them less nobody. And uh, it makes them somebody, I guess. Okay, yes, thank you for landing that bone club. I think starters give a lot of experience, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, everything gives uh, good old Wilbur fun of experience, so yes, what is up, um, I think you're the philosophical old man, yeah you are, what's up philosophical old man, oh great, I was hoping you'd come here, it occurred to me that when we met in Nino Point was I never introduced myself, well, my name is Arn, <laughs> I love how everyone in this name, the game has such strange names, like, who calls my kid Arn, but, if, like, ends of nothing? It says Eshock. What kind of a name is Eshock? Inspiration. And mine just happened to be a tad more philosophical than others. What did you say your name was? Ah, Ignitex. I'll make sure to remember that. Well, I'm off to continue my journey. There are some islands I'm sure would be nice to explore. I'll have a ride from a fisherman or something. 
It is of no worry, I'll be seeing you around, Ignitex. I'll be seeing you around too, Ark. Keeping up the trend of people having really weird names in this game. Has changed from Pokemon Obsidian version to a Pokemon Weird Names version. Uh, anyway, let's stock up for the gym, which we'll do next episode. Oh, you have a memory that this gym is hard as heck. So, it's Psychic type already, and because Psychic types were broken in Gen 1, at the moment, they're just as OP as they were in Gen 1. Because you can't get Dark types in the only Dark type move you can get at any point. Dartoad's knockoff, which is 20 power. Yeah, you get a rotten deal if you pick the grass starter because, let me think, bug types at the beginning of the game. Need no point woods. Grass starter's not gonna do well in there. Second gym. Home. Anyway, here are Maxi and Archie talking about. Uh, aren't they arguing? Aren't they supposed to be arguing about, like, land or the sea? Which one is better? It's a good thing we settled our differences, Maxi. I guess this guy is calling together for the leaders of all the syndicates. Yeah, where did you tell us to meet? Oak Grove City, right? We should be probably getting our bags from our rooms. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure he even convinced Giovanni to come out of hiding. I believe Cyrus from Team Galactic wants to join as well. Well, it sounds like we are the only ones who... Who likes this guy's plan, right, Archie? But yeah, let's hope it works out better than ours. Yeah, it didn't work out well, it just turns out to be the same balance of land and sea. And yeah, what's up, Dad? I'm skipping over your dialogue because this episode is like just the right length. It's just the length I want uh, an Ignitex video to turn out. And I already healed my Pokemon, I was going to do it again. LOL! Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to show your support by commenting, subscribing, and leave a like, leaving a like. And with that being said, peace out, dudes!